Hello my love letters, it's yours truly, Melina Camille, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So, um, I know I've been gone for a while, but oh, I'm out of breath because it just took me like forever to get ready for you guys. But um, today, basically, I'm going to be showing you guys how I inject myself with my HRT my hormone replacement therapy and I recently switched over to the shots from the pills because I don't know I just felt like the shots were more convenient for my life you know and I just felt like the shots were I just wanted like more results and I just wanted you know something different so oh I'm kind of hot baby okay so the first thing Okay, so hi. Um, yeah, I've been gone for a while, but I'm back now. And I'm going to show you guys how I do my HRT injection. So, yeah. I have all this stuff in a little baggie right here. And I use... Yeah. I have, like, my stuff in a little baggie right here. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the medication. So, I have the medication. I keep mine in like a little pill bottle that like my doctor gave me yeah this is estradiol valerate it's basically um just the injection form of the estradiol of the estradiol pills that you would normally take so yeah so first you want to get this out and then you want to get all your supplies ready so i have two needles i have a drawing needle and i have uh, um, an injection needle one needle is thicker than the other so you just want to make sure that you don't inject yourself with the um, the wrong needle because you might you might hurt yourself you know so okay so I have so what you want to do is I'm all over the place so what you want to do is first is you want to get some alcohol you want to get some alcohol and you want to put it well, normally, it really doesn't matter. You can use a cotton swab or uh, you can use a cotton swab or you can use, girl, whatever, whatever you have, really. And you want to clean off, you want to clean off the top of the vial where you're going to inject your medication because you don't want there to be any bacteria when you go in to draw your medication. And if you're on HRT injections, your doctor will most likely tell you, but you don't want to, if you did your injection on your right leg last time, you want to do it on your left leg this time. This will be like my fourth time um, injecting myself with my HRT. But yeah, so if you did it in your right leg last time, you want to do it in your left leg this time. So yeah. <laughs> I hope I'm like explaining everything properly. It's like hot as fuck, oh my God. And my fucking shorts keep running down and I'm trying to hide my belly. But anyway, so yeah, you just wanna make sure that your vial is all cleaned out. So what you wanna do, what you're gonna wanna do next is you're gonna wanna take your drawing needle, the needle that you use to draw the medication. You wanna take it out of the package Take the um, cap off. Then you want to insert it into the medication. And when you draw out the medication, well, I did something wrong. My doctor told me that I'm supposed to like do like that to the needle to like let air in and out and stuff. So, um, but yeah, what you're gonna want to do is inject the the needle, your drawing needle. And you wanna kinda keep it at the top, like in the medication, like this. So like, cause you don't wanna draw any air. You know what I mean? Um, fun fact, actually, air bubbles are okay. Like if you get them, it's okay. Cause it actually takes like a large amount of air to be in your body for you to 
for you to actually die from it, you know? But we don't want to die. We want to stay safe. So you want to get it like that. And then you want to like try your best. If you can get the, um, if you can get the air bubbles out, try to, <laughs> but mine is being stubborn and not wanting to cooperate. But yeah. So I'm putting mine to my dosage and you wanna tap it to get, um, you wanna tap it to get the air bubbles out? Ooh, girl. Okay, you wanna tap it to get all the air bubbles out. And then what you wanna do is, you wanna prep the area that you're about to inject. So you wanna get a new alcohol pad. Well, first of all, once you, <laughs> I'm all over the place, I'm so sorry. But um, I'm actually in a hurry because I have somewhere to go, but I'm trying to make this as informative as possible. So what you wanna do is you wanna twist this needle off because this isn't the needle that you're gonna stick inside your body. And you want to untwist this needle and you want to screw it on the needle with the medication in it. You see what I mean? And so once you do that, make sure you keep everything in order. You can go ahead and put your medication back in its bottle or wherever you keep your medication. I like to keep all my stuff in the baggie that I get it from, from my um, pharmacy. So that's just a tip, like, if you wanna do that. <laughs> um, okay, so next you wanna get your alcohol. So you wanna set this to the side for a second. Then you want, oh, not my fan on the bed. Then you wanna prep the area that you're gonna inject. So last time, I'm trying to think, did I inject? my right leg or did I inject? Yeah, I injected this leg last time, so I'm gonna inject this leg this time. And you wanna get your alcohol. And my doctor taught me to inject it on the side of my leg, like the outer third of your leg. And so I'm just prepping that area. Then you wanna take the needle out, okay? And then you wanna grab the skin that you're about to inject. And then literally one, two, three. Push. Push that kinda hurt. <laughs> and then you just inject it. And this like gel is like really fucking thick, so it may take you a minute to inject it in yourself. But yeah. Oh! <laughs> I'm just like trying to make sure that I get all of my estrogen inside of me. And then when you're done, you just take it out. And I get the, the alcohol right, and I just rub it in. And that's pretty much it. That's how you inject yourself with HRT. Um, oh, I'm not even gonna lie, I was kind of nervous because like when I had let go, cause you're supposed to squeeze it, then inject, then let go. And when I had let go, it kind of like went in my muscle and it kind of hurt a little bit. But <laughs> that's how you do the HRT. That's how you inject yourself with HRT. So yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna change into <laughs> bottoms that match this outfit and I'll be right back to talk to you more about my transition and how my HRT is going and how I feel everything is going, you know? 
So let me just change into the right bottoms and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I'm in the appropriate bottoms that match this outfit. Um, so basically I just wanted to give you guys an update and let you guys know like how I've been since my last YouTube video. So um, basically I switched over from the estradol pills so I basically so basically I switched over from the pills form of HRT to the injection form of HRT and I switched over because I just wanted faster results and I just wanted something that I knew was just gonna work faster everyone says that the hormone injections work faster so I just switched over to the injections and it's more convenient for my life because depending on how high your dosage is, you only have to take it once a week. Um, some people take it every two weeks because they have a bit of a higher dosage, but um, yeah, so I just wanted to take the HR, the injection form of HRT because I heard so many good things about it compared to the pills. And honestly, I wasn't noticing that many results with the pills. I mean, I was noticing, like they work, but like I just feel like I've been noticing a lot more changes with me being on the hormone shots instead of the pills so i'm happy with my decision that i switched over to the pills but i mean the injections because i've been noticing a lot more results as far as breast development and i've been noticing like my hips have been spreading out a little bit more and i've been getting like better fat redistribution and i'm overall just more happy and confident and i just feel better um on the hrc injections and it's the HRT injections are actually better for your liver and stuff. So, because you know, if you take um, the pill form of a HRT, it could damage your liver over time, which is a, a risk that a lot of doctors will tell you. Well, no, not, well, I don't want to scare anyone, but like my doctor said that like the stuff of that is like, the negative effects of hormones is very, um, it's rare, but you know, they just let you know everything that can happen on it. So the injections is just better for your liver and everything. So, but yes, honey, like if you are a baby trans out there and you are inquiring about HRT and you would like to you know, start HRT, I would just talk to my doctor and let my doctor know that I would rather be on the injection form of estrogen. Because if I could have started out on the injection form, I would have, but I don't know, it just didn't come to me. And my doctor, my doctor like really spoils me. So like whatever I want, she just does it. So um, I don't really have to put up much of a fight to convince her to switch me over to the HRT injections. and. I feel like the injections work better, but you know, it's it's whatever you want really. It's your transition. If you want to be on pills, then be on pills. I just know that the results are better on the injection form of estrogen. So, but it's, it's whatever you prefer, because I mean, they both work, but there have just been studies that show that the injection form of estrogen works better. Because anything that you have to inject into your body is going to be of a higher dosage than anything that you take orally. So, yeah. Um, so, I just want to give you guys a quick little update. Let you guys know how I've been doing. And just let you know that I've recently switched over to the HRT injection. And I'm loving it. So, yeah. I just been noticing a lot more results and I just been feeling a lot better in my transition and it'll be three months of me being on HRT in about four days. So I'm happy for that milestone. It'll be my three month mark and I'm just happy. I will probably come back with another update at my four month on HRT. So I could just give you an update, but I've been noticing a lot of changes and I feel like my breasts have gotten a lot more developed since, like I can tell that they're growing more since starting the injections and I can tell that my hips are spreading out more, like I'm getting more hips 
and I'm getting just a little bit thicker, you know, like my fat redistribution is going well. So yeah, I'm just happy and I just wanted to give you guys an update because it's been a while since I uploaded. It's, I want to say it's been about a month since I uploaded and that's really bad because I'm trying to stay consistent on YouTube. But yes, that's basically it for this video. I just want to give you guys an update, let you know what's going on, who those who care. <laughs> Um, and my whole purpose of doing this video is to, or doing any type of trans related video is to help other trans people who are inquiring about, you know, HRT and, you know, I just want to give you the real and just let you know that I would recommend the injections over the pills, especially if you're like really trying to see, you know, changes faster. So. Yeah, I just want to help you guys and that's basically the whole purpose of these trans videos is to help other trans people and just let people know. Um, if you guys want to see a video on how I started um, HRT, like my experience and how you can start HRT, just let me know down in the comments and I can make that video for you guys if you guys want to do it. I mean, if you guys want me to film that video. Um, cause everybody's experience is different cause my experience with getting on hormones was actually super easy. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to know the tea with that, just let me know if you guys want to see that video. So just comment down below. And yes, that's basically it for this video. So to sum it up, more results, faster changes, I mean better results, faster changes, and I'm happy. So yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did. Please share with a friend. Um, if you're trans and you know somebody, or if you're not trans and you know somebody who is trans, share this video with them. And um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. So until next time, my loves, XOXO, Melina Camille.